Hello everyone and welcome again to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll recap a busy weekend in Bulldog Athletics and recap all the action with highlights from home games as Ferris State Hockey, Men's and Women's Basketball. We're all in Big Rapids and we'll start with head coach Bob Daniels and Bulldog Hockey. And coach, first of all, welcome. Congratulations on the weekend sweep over Northern Michigan. Thanks Rob. Uh, it's good to be here and it's good to be here on a, uh, Monday after uh, we were able to sweep Northern, which I thought was a very good team and it uh, certainly helped us in the standings. Before we get to the highlights of the game, talk talk about the fans that port the crowd, a sellout crowd on Saturday, almost a sellout on Friday night, and uh, had to be nice uh, coming off a bye weekend to play at home. Boy, it was, and uh, you know what is interesting, boy, uh, what Friday night, I, I, they didn't have it as a sellout, but I don't know where they would have put any more people. It looked full to me. Uh, Saturday was beyond capacity, and it's great to have those kind of crowds when we turn home to play. Uh, I believe we've only had one loss at home in conference. It's the best home conference record of any team in our league, and um, you know what, I think a lot of that's due to the fact that we get such a lift from our, our, our fans and we get a real lift from the student section, which has, you know, got quite a, a number of straight sellouts in a row. I think it's, we're zeroing in on 50 uh, straight sellouts in the student section and what a lift that gives our team. And there's a reason why our home record's so good and it has to do with our fans. We start off on Friday night as we go to the highlights and uh, a big 7-1 to one win. Uh, it was a, a tie game after one period, 1-1, one to one, but a, a couple big uh, second and third periods for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it was. And you know what? The game was very you know close, obviously, 1-1 one, one going into the second. I thought in the first period, C.J. Mott had a number of good saves. And, and then we got a couple bounces that you'll see that, that go our way in the second period um, that, that I thought you know, uh, really took the starch out of Northern Michigan. And I, I give our team a lot of credit uh, as the second period as we got built the lead that we never let up on them, which, which is really important. Like sometimes, certainly in the past earlier in this year, we had a number of games where we'd jump out to a three goal lead and then we'd be a nail biter, a one goal win by the end of the, the game. And this game here, we, we just kept uh, kept our foot in the throttle and, uh, and, and, and came out with a really nice win. So the goal from Kenny Babinski, then Northern Michigan able to answer one to one going into the second. And Bulldogs explode for three goals here in the second. Yeah, and, and again, I think you'll see, uh, we just get one right there. And obviously it was kind of a broken play and it was, you know, it, it just an odd goal. And uh, that wasn't even caught in the camera. Here's a, a really nice goal. This was really the backbreaker to made three one on the breakaway. Uh, and CJ just made a couple of big saves earlier. Um, and then for us to go up on two goals, uh, you know, with, with a goalie of CJ's caliber and that. Now here's a, a play by Andy Huff. Uh, we're shorthanded here and he had a great weekend. He really, really played well. Dug the puck out of the corner, feeds uh, Chad McDonald, you know, nice finish on the goal. But uh, that was a, a, a shorthanded goal that really broke their back, I thought. And then in the third period, as you see here, we really, uh, you know, we never let up. And, and that's why I was really proud of the players. How does it change your philosophy as a, as a coach uh, when you've got a four or five goal lead? Does it change the outcome uh, or the, the strategy going into the final period? Well, you know, it, it did late in the period. I, I kind of, you know, took some of the players that maybe see a little bit more ice time uh, throughout the course of most games. I, I took them out. Um, except here, Garrett, he scores with 541. Garrett gets a second goal of the game. I tried to get him out to get the hat trick. But other than that, I, I try to show for some of the guys that see a little bit more ice time. And you try to save them for the next night. You know, I, I, I realized partway through the third, they started sheltering some of their players as well, just saving the, their legs for the next game. You win a 7-1 to one, uh, victory on Friday night. And obviously, uh, it's great to win those types of games. And they don't happen that often uh, in college hockey. But uh, expecting a different type of game on Saturday night the following night. Well, you do, and it's interesting because you talk to a lot of the fans on Sunday after the 2-1 to one win. They say, well, what's the difference between the 7-1 and 2-1? to one? We, th Those games, uh, hockey, uh, college hockey is very unique. I, I don't know any other sport where you always play the same opponent or generally play the same opponent back-to-back -back nights. And, you know, I've been doing it for 20-some years, and you know the other team, first of all, Northern's a very, very good hockey team. And so we knew we were going to see a, a very motivated team. And nothing changed on our end of things. It, what it changed is really Northern, you know, I'm sure their coach held the task and he came out and, and, and I thought played a very good hockey game. Here uh, we score early on a turnover and uh, Don Panetta, who hasn't been in the lineup for a while, came, he brought us quite a bit of energy. I think that was his first shift in some time and he gets a nice assist and Jared Van Wormer. So, you know, all of a sudden in this game, we get two goals out of our fourth line. Um, even though Corey Kane scores the second goal and he's not a, on the fourth line, he, he was centering that line. And, um, you know, it's good when you get a couple goals out of, out of, out of uh, uh, 
uh, secondary scoring, if you will. Bulldogs lead it one to nothing uh, in the first, and then score stands up until the third period, and we'll see a big goal from Corey Kane to make it two to nothing early in the third. Yeah, and you can see even here, like that was a great opportunity by Chad McDonald. We, we're getting uh, some chances. Here's one uh, by Don Panetta, a really good opportunity. So we were getting our chances. Their goalie played well, and we knew going in that the, it was not going to be a seven one two nights in a row. We knew this was really going to be a, a hard fought. It's very difficult to to get a sweep in college hockey, and it's very difficult in our conference. And, and you know, as it turned out, we really, you know, if we want to retain first place, we, we had to get the sweep this weekend. Bulldogs uh, make it two to nothing. Then Northern Michigan will score uh, their one goal of the game. But from there, uh, you were able to hold on, and uh, another big performance in that from C.J. Mott. Yeah, it was. Uh, C.J. I thought played very well uh, in this game. He had to obviously. Um, and had a strong weekend, so we were happy that uh, to come away with the two wins. Happy for CJ that he, he played so well. Um, we, I'm proud of the fact that in the first night we got a lot of scoring from our primary scoring. The second night, when in a close game, we got it from secondary scoring. So overall, the team looked really good. This week back on the road, uh, you traveled to Bemidji State uh, for the first time here in the WCHA, and uh, just talk about the the travel schedule and, and the trip to Bemidji, a long trip here for the Bulldogs this yeah, week. Yeah, it, it sure is. It, this will be uh, our longest uh, uh, bus ride of the year. It'll be 14 hours each direction. We, you know, because of that, we'll leave Wednesday evening, uh, get partway. We'll try to get to Marquette that night, stay the night in Marquette, and then eight hours from Marquette the next day. Um, you know, and I say that because it's all weather permitting. Um, the, the, the trip from Marquette uh, over to Bemidji, you spend uh, the, uh, a great amount of time along the waters of Lake Superior, so a lot of different weather conditions can move through. Um, but if it all goes well, then we'll, we'll get there and be able to practice uh, Thursday evening at Bemidji and then obviously play Friday, Saturday and hop on the bus. We'll just come straight home Saturday night after the game. Talk about uh, Bemidji State. You had a chance to play them early in the year, a 5-4 to four overtime win, a 5-3 to three victory at home, and uh, two close games against the Beavers. Yeah, all those games are going to be close against uh, Bemidji. They're, they're, that's the kind of team they are. They lost two this weekend. Uh, they were tied in both games going into the third period against uh, a really good Minnesota State team. Minnesota State was able to come out victorious in both of those, but those were tough games, and those were at Minnesota State. But Midgey, obviously, will be that much harder when we have to play them at their rink. I know one of the goals for the Bulldogs to reach Van Andel Arena, the WCHA championship later on here in the year. But uh, first, uh, you want to get home ice, and uh, certainly uh, still a little bit of work to do in that regard, but uh, you've put yourselves in good position. Yeah, I, I think we are pretty much, you know, we, we could probably use at least one more to secure it 100%, but it's pretty much getting almost mathematically where we've secured a, a home ice. Uh, not quite there yet, but it's close. Um, and then, so that's our next goal. And then if we do that, then the next step after that would be to take a strong look and see if we're in a position to take a, you know, take the WCHA regular season title. Well, Coach, best of luck. Congratulations on the wins and safe travels to Bemidji, Minnesota. Thanks a lot, Rob. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.